absolute pleasure to see you again. Cheers, you too. Thanks. You know, we spoke a year and a half ago, and uh, my one of my questions to you was, because Shazam goes by many different names, my favorite one is the Big Red Cheese. Yeah, and me I, too. <laughs> and my, my question to you was, how, you know, how does it feel to play him? And you said it hasn't sunken in yet. A year and a half later, has it sunk in? Yeah, uh, uh, sh sure. On on some <laughs> level, I mean, it, you know, when your face is in Times Square and you're like, "What the heck is going on?" That is making it very real. Once all the billboards and everything started popping up, I was like, "Oh wow, this is we really made this movie. This movie's <laughs> really coming out." And I'm really up there with a phone and bubblegum in my mouth. Um, so yeah, it's sinking in on that level yeah. that it's real, but it. it, it the, the how dreamy it all is, yeah. you know, that's never going to, I don't think that, I hope it never ends. Yeah. What is the best part about you know, getting to the mentality of a 14-year-old? <laughs> no responsibility. <laughs> right. Uh, that's basically what it, that's what it boils down to. Yeah. I was looking at, I honestly drew a lot of inspiration from both Jack and Asher and being around them and their youthful energy and their silliness. You know, yeah. like, we forget how to be silly. Yeah. We, 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 things get too serious in life. And we become adults and we get a lot of responsibility and we're carrying it. And it's like, in order to be silly, we were like, well, I can't be because I got all this stuff I got it, you know, and, and I think we, we, need, we need to balance that a yeah. little bit more. And uh, so that was real fun. When we last spoke too, we both agreed that uh, what makes Billy and Shazam different is because he embraces his powers, kind of like Peter Parker, kind of like, you yes. know, uh, like the Flash. You know, is, is that what he makes him mostly different from most superheroes? Well, I would say that's definitely one of the biggest things. Yeah, I, you know, I feel I feel bad for a lot of actors who get these incredible superhero roles because I know that all of them are super stoked inside, and but they all have to hide that. They have to bring it down, you know, because it's like oh my, it's like I'm Batman, I get to be Batman, and then it's like the camera's rolling. Oh, I'm Batman, you know, you got to be real <laughs> serious. And I didn't have to do that at all. I just got to take all of the like, oh my god, I got this crazy amazing job, and I just get to you know bring that into the character. And Peter Parker is one of the only other archetypes like that, I yeah. think. They're, they're very few. But I think that maybe what makes it even a, a step beyond that is that maybe, like, the most ar iconic archetype of the hero story, yeah. it's child dreams and wishes of being... The, the, a super version of themselves yeah. and they're given a magic word like we all believed that we could have one day sure. and you say the word and you become the super you and you go you know have fun in the world and do good in the world yeah. um, and that I there's there is no other character like that one of the things I love about this too is uh, props on sets I always like to ask actors if you could take one prop off that set what would you take there's a lot of good one well I did actually say it wasn't a prop but it, there's a there's a sign in the movie. <laughs> there's a neon sign in the movie on one of the buildings that I uh, I don't want to say because I don't want to spoil. But uh, that sign ended up back at my home in Texas. I, <laughs> that, I they they gave that to me, and that that was that was really fun. Awesome. Yeah. Pleasure seeing you again. Yeah. Man. You too, brother. Take it easy. Yeah. Have a great day.